Good morning, everyone. Okay, the first session of the day, we can have some little bit of coffee and start ticking. Okay, perfect. So, as Mr. Mehta just said, we are sitting in an ocean of solar, the ocean which is massively available for all of us. But like every year, the tariffs are dropping. So, what is sustainable? Okay. So, we, over the course of the day here, we, are, we will hear a lot of different points of view, which people will say on, oops, it went faster than I thought, okay, on um, what's sustainable. But if you look at solar, it's not just one thing that defines it. Starting from the plant design, to financing, to operations, to land, to the GHI, payment cycles, debt, module cost, uh, whether your plant is, what ACDC ratio you have, it's fixed tails, it's seasonal, it's trackers, what's your cost of ROW, what's your EPC, there is a zillion factors sitting out there which defines a sustainable plant. You can't step up and say, sorry, my module pricing has come down, so my solar pricing should come up, and similarly vice versa. But because it's not just one simple two variable equation, put in one thing here and get the answer out there. We've been in this sector now from 2009, you know, for, there has been way more development in defining and deciding what makes a sustainable plant. And my friends, it is not your interest cost only. It is not your module pricing only. Those are two big factors, yes, but those are not the two only factors. We have as an industry matured, and not just us in India, us across globally, to have figured out that there are multiple small things that tick solar. So the time has come where we start focusing on those small things and actually get the juice out of a plant. You know, so obviously I have written down these multiple factors that you would see on the side there. And, and there are so many of them that I can't even, like, you know, I will spend the whole day and not even cover the tip of the iceberg. But if I would just simplify it, like simplify it really massively, I would say that, it, it summarizes two, three key things. The first and the foremost, which is the most talked about, is the price. Uh, the price is depending on the cost. So basically the project cost. In this project cost, again, the most talked about is just the module cost. What we forget is the balance of system, the whole design on what structures you used, what technology you used. Is it fixed? Is it seasonal? Is it tracker? What is your ACDC ratio? What is your pitch? I know a lot of you would have heard the pitch in just cricket, but yes, pitch is a very important and like meaningful term in solar. You know, it defines a lot more on the, on the thing. What is your development cost? How long is your transmission line? How much are you paying for ROW? You know, these are some subtle questions which really define way more to define what your actual project cost is. In addition, you would also hear a lot of the discussion happening on the debt terms. In the debt terms, interest cost is important, but that's not your biggest factor. The leverage and the tenure are two critical things that really define where we are. Early 2009 and 10, when we started, the Indian sector was typically only looking at leverages of 12, 13 years. Now, the banking sector has matured to, now, to look at uh, leverages and uh, tenures of north of 19, 20 years, 75, 80%. That's where a lot of the financial structuring is happening. A half a percent in interest rate doesn't impact as much as a two-year extra tenor. So we have to change our mindset and look beyond just those two factors. Having said that, these are the two things most commonly talked about, and I hear the maximum. But one of the most important ones which is missed and very less talked is the actual plant design. How many times, you know, and, and we, for example, outsource our EPC. Does the EPC player come to you and tell you that I will give you a plant at this cost? And that is it. Do they talk about saying, I would actually generate these many units of electricity for you. So the same plant, if, if it's being charged as let's say 100 rupees, can generate 100 units or 110 units. And the difference between them is massive. What we completely forget about is it's not just the money going in, it's the cost per unit of electricity that is getting generated. 
at the end of the day it is not just the cost it's the design and the operations you know onm in solar is just 3% of the capital cost but all returns for us developers are actually sitting in onm it's the time now that we stop putting the focus from saying you have to just build a plant but you have to build a quality plant in our opinion it is not about 1 megawatt it is it is about building the megawatt hour i see a race these days you know a race to build a portfolio is the portfolio the what or is it actually the number of units you generate how many people do i hear talking about saying that you know i have generated i have created these many units i just hear more about as if these megawatts together will give you some ebitda multiple which will change the world yes that may be a short term view but solar is a 25 30 year sustainable story it's about megawatt hours it's not just about megawatts you know given we are in a financial conference i think it's good to quantify this with numbers because like i said wherever the numbers is where we all realize and uh, start talking so let's assume in a blue scale thinking as mr mehta just said we have a 3 rupee plant which all of us believe is sustainable okay there are some base assumptions i put in here which all of us are comfortable in and say that okay this 3 rupees i am okay with and you know it can depend on a plethora of factors like we just discussed this 3 can be 4 it is immaterial but this is just my starting point now based on the three lenses that i just saw my operations which is how many units am i actually generating my cost and my how much money am i actually putting in the plant and my debt how does this 3 rupees change okay so let's look at this perspective so let's assume you actually are able to generate 1 percentage point more okay perfect so your if my plant was originally generating say 18% plf that 18% becomes 19% you know a lot of times we can't even quantify that because it's so small so instead of 100 units it's actually 100 basis point more a 3 rupee number actually gets sustainable to give the same returns for both the debt and the equity players at a 14 paisa lower tariff so for example if i have a site which has better ghi to give me a 1 percentage point more generation a 3 rupee or a 3.14 rupee or in that matter a 2.9 2.86 rupee tariff will give me exactly the same returns so putting a simplistic uh, methodology to say the tariff in gujarat ap mp is all the same is effectively saying that this 3 and 2.86 is the same and for that matter all i have done an analysis right now is on 1 percentage point within india if you look at just the geographic span this span can actually vary across 4% that 4% directly goes to your bottom line so the number that i'm talking about is almost a 1 rupee difference that can happen across what site you choose and and this is not just interstate even within intra state you know you just take one specific state you will find pockets where this difference comes up and i think this is the most critical thing about solar which i don't see a lot of people talking about and i'm you know sometimes i'll be very honest i get flustered as a person being in this industry since 09 you know guys let's move up from just talking about the cost of debt or the module pricing let's talk about building a correct plant building a good plant because the capability is here it all it needs is a little bit focus it's not about just you know saying that i have got a ppa i have put some capital cost on it i will give it to somebody and forget about it for a year till i now need to uh, sell the plant to someone else and obviously that's a very simplistic approach to life if you want to just compare this to get a sense on why i am saying this is important compare this to say our full energy is put into say i will go negotiate with a module person on 1 dollar cent on my pricing i add that to say i will further decrease the epc cost by 5 lakhs which is like a lot and further decrease the onm i take all these three factors i pump that in the project cost and still all i can get back is about 10 paisa on tariff so i will put all my energy there but the biggest factor which actually is the generation which is actually the onm which is running the plant and creating something quality i will completely ignore why because it's not talked about enough 
Let's see the other most uh, talked factor, which I'm pretty sure during the day we'll hear a lot, which is the interest cost, the leverage, the tenure. Again, like I said, important, but I have pumped in 3% more leverage. So from a 70 to a 73% plant, I have increased the tenor by two years. I have decreased the interest rate by half a percent. All three great good cases put together. And all I could say was 11 paisa. So the limited point I'm trying to say is, it is not one factors. It is a plethora of factors that go in there to create a sustainable factor uh, tariff. In that sustainable tariff, we have to think about what quality of plant we are building. It is not about just megawatts. It's about megawatt hour. The project cost saving and uh, the lower cost of capital are important. And that's where the maximum effort is put. But the generation is as important or actually more important at points of time, which is completely forgotten. Okay, the ticker doesn't tick. Yeah, one more. So the technology designs and operations play an equally important role. It's about the units that is generated. I would love to hear people coming forward and saying, okay, you know, this is how I thought about to say the plant can give me more units. This is how the cable design should be done. This is how you actually, you know, I, I think a very simple factor. I don't know how many people today talk about putting the modules in a right manner. Just sorting your modules in a particular plant can give you that 1% that I talked about in generation. You know, so I don't know how many of us know this, but a, a solar cuts to say whatever is the, ma the minimum of a string is what your output will be. So if I've put, let's say, five modules of 300, 305, 310 different efficiencies, a string will limit it down to say whatever is the lowest. So say 300, that's what it'll give the output. So I'm wasting all the other modules that I've put in that string to give me the output. You know, such basic factors are available, which you just need to put your focus on and can increase your efficiency a lot, which is why I think not all plants are equal. You know, we have to see the plant on its merit, and we cannot say that now this is the sustainable fact, uh, tariff for the whole of India. It depends upon how you design the plant, where you design the plant, and thus you cannot have one simple, one variable equation to say this is the right tariff for the whole country. And like I said, it's not about the portfolio. It's about the quality plant. We as all developers, and I urge all my group friends to think about it as, you know, it's, it's a, there's a horde of megawatts that I see everybody wants to capture. But what we should look at is the right energy that we are producing. Can we actually optimize our plants more to generate more than just saying I have a gigawatt of portfolio? So that's broadly from us. I would give you a very quick two minutes about us. I'm Tanya, I'm from Solar Arise. At Solar Arise, we do only solar. We do only grid connected, large scale PV projects. We don't do rooftops as well, as much. Uh, the projects can be both greenfield or it can be acquisition. So if there's a project that is already up and running, we would be happy to acquire. Uh, typically, we do only large scale projects. So something north of 20, 30 megawatts. Uh, the, there is no limitation of the off-taker we'll work on. It can be a government party, it can be a private party, an industry, open access. But the philosophy that we follow is what I just said. We are long-term owners. We want to create the best plant which generates for the next 25 years. We are not looking to build and flip in a year. We want to generate units. We are operators. We are here to stay. So that's just broadly about us. Our investors, uh, Kotak and EIB from Europe are actually, they mirror exactly the same methodology that I just said. They are here to stay with us. And you would, you would hear around me and I'll be very happy to answer any questions. Thank you.